Here we go, folks. Shit's getting real now. Expert mode. I'm so sorry this has taken so long for me to upload. I recorded this uh, weeks ago, but when I did it, my commentary messed up, so I'm having to do post-commentary now, and my job has not allowed me to you know, just have the time to dedicate to record all this. And, oh my gosh, it's been such a mess. But I finally have a little time now, so I can finally, finally redo my commentary. So let's see here. I made it a point not to skip any level in expert mode. I will not skip. I will see it to the bitter end. So let's see how I do. Yep, starting off with a castle level here. That's that's good, right? Uh, it's like just lava in the floor. That's gonna kill me. Now I want to say expert mode is determined you know, by clear rate right? how many people have played the stage versus how many people have actually finished the level. I think that's how difficulty is determined in the 100 mile challenge. Well, this is fun, right? This is fun. No, so far, pretty good level design. I can't complain too much. As long as it's challenging but fair, it's fine. What I don't like to see are death trap levels where it's really cheap, you know, it's super annoying. I hate that. I hate trolley levels here. Ugh. I mean, they're fine if you have save states and checkpoints, but I don't want to see trolliness. Ugh. See, we're off to a great start here, folks. I'm, I'm little now. I've lost all my power-ups. Oh, can I make it? Can I use my Mario skill? I guess I can. Well, that could have gone better, but I'll take it. That's one expert level down without dying. That's a pretty good accomplishment, I suppose. Oh, God. This has to be the longest video I've recorded so far. Oh, jeez. Three, two, one. Okay, well, let's give that a shot. But I swear, like I said, I recorded this, I guess, about two or three weeks ago. But my commentary, or my live commentary, just messed up. I'm not sure how or why. So I've had to redo the commentary, but I could not find sufficient time to record for, like, over an hour. I mean, my, my new job is just killing me, folks. God. I'm working 12-hour shifts most of the time. It wears me out. I come, I'm tired. So... I play this game when I can, because I love this game, but, man, having time to record as well, I just don't have the time. Luckily, I do right now. So I'm looking here, it's like, what do I do? I'm not sure, because I hate blind falls and blind jumps. Like, ugh. So I don't like to see that too much. I don't really remember what I do here because I haven't seen this since I first recorded it, so I'm not sure what to expect. So my post commentary will be just as a surprise to me as you, because I don't remember all these levels. But I know I did s oh actually I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil anything. I know the outcome, but I don't remember the levels too much. Ugh. But this is good level design, right? I guess. I don't know. I'm up in the clouds. I'm in the sky. See, I like levels that have a lot of jumping platforming challenges. That's fine. I don't like to see people just throw in enemy a stack of enemies and saying, Oh, this is hard, right? Come on. Don't do that. But that's just my criticism. They're your levels. You make them how you want to. I won't skip them. I'll play them. I don't think I've skipped any levels yet. I don't think... I, no, I take that back. I had to skip two. Not, not in this recording, but just another time I was playing expert mode. And the reason is, on one level, it was supposed to be one of those automatic stages, or semi-automatic stages, where you had, to, you had to do a little bit of jumping here and there. But there was one part that was messing up. It was supposed to carry you through the level automatically, but it wasn't working right, and it wasn't just me. Everybody was dying at this one part. <laughs> So I even commented, I'm like, this isn't working right. So somehow the user cr cleared the level, but I wasn't able to, and neither was anybody else. It's like, it wasn't working. And there was no way to pass it. I mean, it's just a big gap. You can't live. So I had to skip that one. Bowser's family. Ugh. Another one I had to skip was an F-Zero-themed level, where you, had, you played as Captain Falcon, you had the mystery mushroom for him. Well, that was, that was brilliant. 
And the, the level was pretty challenging because it did, dealt with a lot of fast paced jumping and precision platforming. But at the very end, there had to have been some kind of hidden star or something that I couldn't find because there was just a tower of enemies and then a spike trail to the goal. And even if you took a hit, your invincibility frames would not last long enough to get to the flagpole. And I searched as hard as I could for a star, but I couldn't find one, so I'm not sure what the trick was to that. But basically, it was just impossible to get to the goal because, I mean, you had to walk through a line of spikes. I mean, you couldn't get there in time. <laughs> there was just no way, and that was brilliant, too. Oh, this level's off to a good start. But anyway, I've only had to skip two levels so far. Just because of that. Ugh. This is good level design, I guess. Is it? Well, now that one's getting me because my momentum is still carrying me right, and I'm trying to jump left. My goodness. Expert. Skip! I ain't skipping. I ain't skipping no course. Except for those two I just talked about. That wasn't my fault. Ugh. One, the automation wasn't working right, and the other one... There was nowhere to get there without some kind of star. And I couldn't find the hidden star. But whatever. Whatever. Now this part here is quite challenging. It's just... The jumps are tricky here. Ugh. I can't do it. And that keeps hitting me. I'm not sure how that's hitting me because it doesn't make sense. The hitbox is a little bit wonky there. <laughs> they put a giant baby Bowser in my way or not. Giant Bowser Jr. I always want to call him Baby Bowser, but it's Bowser Jr. I can't get used to that. Baby Bowser and Bowser Jr. look just alike, really. I mean, come on. Mmm. Drinking a Coke. But I do remember this level now. It was, it was a neat challenge, but there were some cheap areas, I recall. Alright. I do like to see Thwomps. There's some Hammer Brothers I just sort of surpass. Um... Now, I could have picked up that shell and pushed the down button to wear it as a helmet. At the time, I did not know you could do that. Because in Super Mario World, you can kick an empty shell up into the air, and then, you know, if it's a Buzzy Beetle shell that's empty, or a Spiny shell that's empty, you can kick it up in the air and wear it as a hat. Oops. <laughs> but in this one, you have to hold it and push down. That's how you wear it. And like I said, I didn't know you could do that. I will admit, this level here did pose quite a challenge. Will I make it in the end? Well, you already know the answer to that. You know the answer. A lot of times when people make difficult levels, they throw enemies at you just left and right. There's a lot going on. Because right here, there's so much to avoid. It's like, ah. Then you got Bowser Jr. in the way here. See, I thought he was going to fall off, but no, he stayed on the platform. And the block placements up there are really, really weird. You can't really wall jump very easily. Oh, no. And I tried to wall jump, but my jump button decided not to work. Oh, don't you just love it, folks. Oh, my goodness. My goodness gracious. I can say this, though. This is by far my favorite Wii U game now. I love this game. I am playing this almost every day as much as I can. Even though I come home from work dead tired, I still have some energy to play a little bit. <laughs> I have really enjoyed this. I love playing, and I love creating. And Bowser Jr., I hate you. Of course. Ugh, some users can make some pretty dastardly levels. This was no exception. This one is a legitimate challenge. The level design is a bit flawed, but the challenge is still there. It's it's just fair enough, but barely. I know how I'd improve it. If I could go back... Well, I didn't bother to do that, but you can go back and I think play some user levels in the course world and edit them to your liking, however you want to, but then, but then you can't re-upload them that I know of. See, I grab this and I'm like, uh, but how do I wear it? All I gotta do is press down, but I don't know that yet. At this point, I didn't know. So here I go. And then I realize, oh, 
giant Bowser will push me off. Yeah, Mario's gonna lose that sumo match, that's for sure. I didn't realize he was gonna push me. Oops. Because you can use invincibility frames and, and you can walk through regular Bowser, I believe, but giant Bowser... Oh, excuse me, nope. I burped. <laughs> giant Bowser, no. He will push you back. You're not getting around him. You have to go under, over, or shoot him with fireballs or shells. At this point, I'm like, okay, this stage is giving me enough trouble. Come on. Get your head in the game, Daniel. You can do this. You can do it. Bowser Jr. still trolling. He's a meanie head. Ooh. It's like, nope, not falling for that again. So I finally get the hang of that wall jump, and then... Good grief. Bowser Jr. is so inconsistent with <laughs> going off platforms. Thankfully, there's a free fire flare up there. I don't know what to, much to say about this stage. I mean, it's it was challenging, but also kind of fun. And I wish I knew I could have <laughs> wore this shell. I really wish I knew. Would have helped a little bit. Of course, I can kind of use it as a front shield, but I need it as a helmet. There's so much going on, I'm like, oh my gosh. So there, I get the bright idea to use the bullet bill to leap over. And there we have it. That took several tries, but I got it. Expert mode, everybody. Oh, it just gets better from here. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm so happy to finally have a Saturday off. I normally work six days a week, sometimes 12 hours. And my body is tired. Oh, the name's in Japanese. Whenever you're in expert mode, and you see a Japanese title with a Japanese username, you already know you're in trouble. Oh god, this level. I remember this level now. I'm like, what the f do I do here? Like, what in the world? Can I really do this? Oh, goodness. Ugh. I hate springs. I hate levels where people just throw in springs. They're so difficult to work with. Oh my gosh. I make it that time. Uh, but please, people, when you're making levels, don't don't throw in a bunch of springs and have all kinds of chaos. That's annoying. Here, I grab this shell. I'll kill these guys. And this is another pretty dastardly level. You'll see what I mean. It's very misleading in what you're supposed to do. But I will let you watch. We'll see how this goes. This will go smoothly, right? Right? But, well, I have to be Big Mario, so I search for a shell, but, well, I mean, I search for a mushroom and I just get laughed at. My goodness. Oh, I found it. I'm hanging onto the shell because I don't know if I'll need it or not. Then I let go. That like, oops. And I'm not a fan of this. I don't like where it's a you must get hit to progress section. I don't like that. Come on. And I quickly realize if I hit this P switch, uh, hell is gonna rain down on me. Let's get rid of these cubas first. Let's get rid of them. And oh, didn't mean to do that. I meant to set it down, but Mario has a tendency to throw it. And then I realized I don't even think I'm supposed to go that way. What a mean Japanese level. Oh gosh. And this is actually kind of a race to the top with the Koopa. It is so hard. And then, uh, see, bouncing on his head doesn't always work here because he's so close to the ceiling there, you know, the hitbox is kind of wonky. So, it's basically a race up there with him, and I I tend to lose, because <laughs> it's not easy to wall jump with springs on the sides. It's very difficult. I'm like, oh god, this is going to be one of those levels, isn't it? Like, get, get, get up there. Get the f up there. Oh, okay. I just jump on his head. There we go. I tend to lose that race. 
And this part's not a problem. I can I can bounce. I can do precision bouncing. That's fine. And here, I'll just hang on to the shell. I remember from last time. Defeat these a-holes. It's like, what do I do after that? Okay, easy. And I didn't mean to hit that, but it's like, okay, the mushroom was over here, right? Yep. I realize I'm, I shouldn't need a shell, but I gotta get hit. Yeah, thanks for that sound effect. My thoughts exactly. Um, I'm still kind of confused here. I'm like, okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I have it figured out now. Now that I look at this again, I think I have it figured out. But at the time, it's still kind of trial and error. Like, those arrows are so misleading, it's like, oh, okay. It's like, both are pointing to left. So it's like, don't go that way. It's like, why would you even bother to make those? Ugh. What a mean level, folks. Hey, admit it, if you were playing this level, you would have skipped it already, would you? You'd have skipped it. But am I skipping? No. My pride won't allow it. I'll see it through to the bitter end. No matter how many lives are lost. I'm thinking, surely I can do this in 91 lives. Surely I can. Surely, surely, surely. Oh, my goodness. But, eh, gotta be careful, because that's an ice block. I'll slide. I'm gonna drink more Coke now. Mm. I, need to, I need to stop drinking sodas, though. I need to drink more water. That would be better for me. I got a Coca-Cola, but if I'm drinking soft drink, I prefer Dr. Pepper. Mm, I'll drink Coke, but I like my DP. Yeah, more of the... Oh! So my, my puzzler is working here. I'm like, uh, what do I do? I'll figure something out here. I'm not sure. And I realize, oh, okay, maybe I have to wait for these to turn to blocks and then jump. So that's what I do. And then I realize, oh, nope, I gotta get up there before then. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what a cruel level. Now I can do nothing but die. My brain slowly realizes this. So I just take a leap off and go out in style. <laughs> oh, how mean. Trolley levels, I'm telling you. They break you physically and mentally. Like, who even won that race? That's not easy. And that's not skill. Getting up there is pure luck. I still, I still haven't mastered that. That is pure luck. <laughs> so here we go again, then, oops, I forgot that's a nice block. <laughs> I'm like in such a rush, like, oh, I know what to do now, I know what to do now, oh, ice block. Well, I get to start that over again. It's like, no, I can't, I can't do it, it's hard, it's hard. <clears throat> this is burning up some lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. I cannot seem to clear my throat. It's fall now. I got allergies. It tends to clog up my nose and sinuses and throat. So, ugh. Oh, what's coming? My, my annual bronchitis is coming. <laughs> ugh. I mean, this the theme of this stage is pretty cool, I guess, but... What a what a mean design level. When he designed this level, he's he's he knows for sure not many people are gonna clear this. That's his intention. See, when I make a level, I tend to think like I wanna say, what would Nintendo do? That's how I think. It's like, what would Nintendo do? Hmm. That's that's what I'm thinking when I make levels. I wanna make it a challenging level, but I don't wanna make it frustrating, so. 
I could make some really hard levels, but I haven't done so yet. Because I want people to play my levels, and I want them to enjoy them. But that's just me. Okay, what else is there? Okay, awesome. I think I've got about six or seven levels made now. I think. I have like one joke level, two test levels, and other, the other levels I was kind of serious about. Let's see. Thankfully I have fire burrs. Or I'm not getting past that without, without taking damage. If I remember, the hard part of this level is actually over. Now it's just a matter of... Oh, goodness. Didn't see the hammer brother up there. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting through some enemies, like the tricky maze parts over with. So I got, I got one fireball to work with. Take out this Bowser. Giant Bowser takes so many hits to kill. It's ridiculous. But, oh, well, realize I'm gonna have to go under him. But thankfully, there's another fireball here. I almost screwed that up. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's, I think this might be the last boss battle here, so, two Bowser stacks. Though when I play, uh, 100 Mario Challenge, it does give me inspiration to create some levels. I've never been a huge fan of ghost houses, so I don't think I'm gonna make any ghost house levels. At least I don't have any in mind yet. If I do make a ghost house level, I guess it'll just be how I would want a ghost house level to go. I'm not too keen on mazes in Mario games. Unless they're fair. A lot of times they're unfair. I didn't mind most of the boo houses in Super Mario World, but I didn't like hardly any of them in New Super Mario Brothers, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, or New Super Mario Brothers U. Didn't care for them. What, weren't there boo houses in New Super Mario Bros. 2 as well? It's been a while since I played the game. I think there are. I just can't remember too well. Like, come on, die, 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 die. I don't know if the wings may mean he can take extra hits. I have no idea. There we go. He's dead now. The hard part's over. Thank goodness for that. I only got two lives out of that. Ugh. Well, I cleared your stage, Mr. Japanese Man. You made it tricky. A lot of the deaths there are really cheap ones, though, because you don't know where to go or what to do. So misleading. Yeah, Adventures in Spike Land sounds like a fun level. Oh, God. Isn't this good level design, folks? <laughs> Spikes everywhere, they'll kill you instantly, and then you have to start all over again? That's good level design. Ugh. Thinking, well, I know I'm gonna die here. This will be a trial and error part. I already know I'm gonna die. Because it's gonna be real tricky to squeeze into there. <laughs> that's what she said. It's gonna be difficult. I'm hoping the Koopa will go down the little pit, but it won't work. He kind of stays at your level, or he tries to. Like, ugh, nope. But now I understand the physics, so I get to try again. Like, I really didn't think I would make it the first time. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I jumped a little too early. Out of my head. Again, good level design, John. Thanks for that. My goodness. Eh, uh, spike challenges are fine, but sometimes they can be overly tedious. But it's just an instant kill. Now, to my memory again, I think the hard part's over. I want to say this block is a star. Yep. And it's just a matter of running through. Can't let the star run out. It's like, oh, 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 I gotta get to the next question block! Oh, oh. And thankfully, it's not much of a maze. Ooh, I'm gonna make it time. 
Oh, oh, but there was a slight hesitation there. I hit the hit the hit the ledge, and it caused me to die. I was like, yo, darn it! How annoying! Oh my goodness! Spike, spike, spikes! I mean, you can just barely touch one, just kind of prick your finger, and dead. Man, what I've learned from this game is it is very easy to kill Mario. He has to tap something slightly harmful and he'll die instantly. <laughs> My goodness. Mario's world is jacked up. But ooh, ooh, it almost got me. It almost did. Let's say I hope we don't hit my head there. That would be bad. Oh, my joints. Joints are popping. Oh, I need a new job. But, I would rather have a job to complain about than not have one at all. My job pays well, but it just wears me out physically. Ugh. And the location's kind of far away. It takes me about an hour to drive to work. And my shift starts at 6 a.m. And goes to 3, but sometimes it goes 6 to 6. And then it's another hour drive home, and that's not fun. That's why I'm wore out all the time. Oh, I need a job that's closer with better hours. Again, the actual job itself I is fine. I'm an environmental technician, and there's a lot of responsibility with that. I just need a better location. And just... Eight hours consistently. That I'd be fine with that. And just five days a week, not six days. Ugh. You know. Oh well. Cause it's gonna make it pretty hard for me to record Let's Plays with this job schedule. I'm barely able to record any Mario Maker. So at first glance, this level's not so bad. I can't remember anything about it. Alright, Koopa Poopas. I uh, don't recall anything terrible. This level's not standing out to me right now. Huh. But it's here in expert mode, so people skipped. This had to have been one of his first creations, who are uploaded this, because I'm not finding any fire flowers, just mushrooms. Like, everything he has is, like, the first stuff that's unlocked, I think? I don't know. I can't remember if Lakitu was unlockable in the very start or not. Or like one of, one of the first pallets you could select from. I don't think he was, so maybe not. But it's kind of a cheap death, because you can't really see what's, where, what's going to rain down on you. You can't see where it's coming from. So I'm like, oh great. Cheapness. Well, that is just perfect! I had an insatiable thirst. I woke up really thirsty today. So I drank a Gatorade. It quenched my thirst for about 15 minutes, and then I was thirsty again. I guess all that work is draining me of my body of water. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how happy I am. I am sitting right here on the bed, not working on a Saturday. I kind of like underground levels, they're neat. I think I prefer overworld levels for the most part, like above ground, the gra typical grassy levels, those tend to be my favorite. But I like how you change the theme of the level, it gives it a really different mood. You can have almost the same level design, but a different theme, and it'll feel almost like a completely different level. That's what I've noticed. Like, this would definitely have a different feel. If I played the same stage again in a different theme, I might not even notice for a little while. I'll be like, oh, wait, this is the same level design, but different, different themes, so it feels different. It may feel different enough. Trampoline Canyon. Ugh, I don't like trampolines. <laughs> like, whoop, the amazing trampoline that can fly. Trampoline got some pixie dust, and he's thinking of his happy thoughts. The spikes are tough to avoid. No, sometimes impossible. Isn't this good level design? 
No, not really. Ugh. Ugh. But say if that piranha plant lands on there, I'm I'm screwed. That's the end for me. Like, like, oh, okay, there's some helpful things. Ugh. People can be really, really mean with enemy placements of blocks. I've noticed and learned. Like, oh goodness. It's so easy to die. Ah. Uh, you got Lakitu's as well. Like, good lord, look at this. This is just... <laughs> this is a, a no-win situation. Until a star comes along, thank goodness for that. I'd have died for sure. I'm like, screw it. I'm taking this cloud. It's mine. I'm taking it. I'm just hoping their end is near. And it is. Good lord. I'm all for a challenge, but I don't like wonky level design. <laughs> oh, that's the thing about Super Mario Maker. Anybody can create almost anything. You never know what you're going to get. This game is like a box of chocolates. Ready for action? <laughs> Not really. Super action! Oh, this is a little crazy. I immediately realized I should have gone. I should not have hesitated. I'm like, oh, well, now I'm screwed. <laughs> you can't wait and let the enemies build up there. That's bad. So, all right, so I'll give it a little, go to a little faster pace. But ah, there's so much going on. It's like, oh, okay, well, I kind of want that mushroom, and then a Goomba lands on my head. Like, oh, that is so unfair. <laughs> You cannot react to that. There's no time. There's no reaction time. It's that either. It's too quick. <laughs> oh, levels where there's so much going on. Ah, quite a challenge. This is fun, right? Look at this. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun, folks? Being bombarded with enemies and having to get by there with sheer luck. <laughs> And having shells come back at you. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Oh. Oh. My stupid pride <laughs> doesn't let me skip. <laughs> oh, this is this is just terrible. This is a terrible level. This is just awful. <laughs> right from the get-go, it's just throwing shit at you left and right. Just, oh. Well, I'm gonna let them pile up now. And I still miss the mushroom. Let the bodies pile up. Like, oh, goodness. I don't like those Koopas being down there. Let go away. Okay, is it safe? Well, let's go. Well, no, it's not safe. There's a pit down there I wasn't aware of. Again, good level design. Ugh. People. People, people, people. Except I got the mushroom. And I realized, okay, the Goombas that landed on my head were not spawning, they were just walking. Okay. I thought there was like a pipe above me spawning Goombas or something. But there wasn't. So now I know, well, there's a pit down there. I gotta wait for these Koopas to get out of the way. Like, oh, goodness, goodness gracious me. Too much. Well, too much action. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, goodness. Good, good, good. That's... that's bad. You know... These levels, these kind of levels really stress me out. I don't need this. I don't need to be stressed. I don't need this. I'm too old. This game is going to cause me to have heart problems. <laughs> Your regular heartbeat or something. It's like, okay, what's in... Okay, it's a Koopa. Let's avoid them. Let's see. It's like, I'm, I'm not really trusting blocks now. This level has betrayed my trust. It's like, oh, I'm so close. There's the goal. And what do I do? Oh, pff, I bounce off a spring. 
Good level design. Good, good, good level design. Fantastic. <sighs> so many Goombas. Wait. Just go away. I don't want you. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm gonna go to the Koopa. There, I got the mushy room. Jesus. Takes me several tries to get it down. Legs are going to sleep. I gotta readjust. Uh, okay. That was that, no, that was kind of lucky. <laughs> that was lucky. Oh gosh. Uh. The only thing I can say is don't put springs and levels like that. That's that's too much. I mean, I'm up for a challenge, but I don't like it when things are luck based. I try not to hit that spring. Cause that's so mean to put at the very end of the level and die and have to do this all over again. Ugh, I try to use the Koopa to bounce, but didn't quite make it. I'm like, ugh, I can't touch it, no! I don't want to touch it, no! Ugh, ugh, ugh! I'm so nervous! You never know where you're gonna bounce high either. Ugh! 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 I don't know! <laughs> oh, there we go. God, my heart stopped for like five seconds there, I swear. I, I had to have died a little bit at that part. Mm. Expert mode, folks. Oh. I think I left a comment, but I forgot what I said. We'll find out here in a second. I think I commented something like, <laughs> like, I hate you or something, or like, and I had, to, I had to have something to say about that. Like, those damn springs. What did I say? I find out. I said so much going on! I don't remember saying that, but I did. Silence. <laughs> well, Star Dash isn't that bad. I don't think. Uh, Star Dash levels. I can do that. Common levels I come across in any any ex any difficulty mode is some kind of automatic stage, a Star Dash level, or levels that just throw a bunch of enemies at you. Those are the common levels I come across. Star Dash isn't bad. I'm curious though, how is this in expert mode? Because this this stage is not that bad. In fact, it's quite easy compared to a lot of others, so. I'm not sure how the clear right was so little. I mean, anybody can do that if you know how to wall jump. And get a star. I don't know. That did help me get some lives. It was very starry. Now, what was this next one? Shrub Patrol. Alright. I... Oh, I remember this. Oh, this one was a good level. This one had good level design, and it was very fair. I think I gave this one a star. Now, this is a man who's thinking like Nintendo. These are the kind of levels I try to think and create. It's got challenge, but it's fair. It's not trolly. There's an upper path I didn't know about. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so much for that. I mean, this is a level I can see Nintendo making in Super Mario Bros. 3 easily. I really do. Minus the flying block, because those weren't in Mario 3, but if they could have, they would have made a level like this, I'm sure. So, no much to say, it's just a slow auto scroll, and, you know, there's plenty of fun and challenge to be had here. So I like it. Again, a little, I'm actually a little bit surprised to see this on expert mode because this has a difficulty of, I guess, moderate or normal. I mean, I don't remember this being extremely difficult. So why was this skipped so much? Do people skip levels that easily? Is that the problem? 
I think people just give up too fast. I don't know. I don't know. But it's pretty easy. I mean, hell, I'm doing this with ease. I'm like, I'm in my element right here. I'm like, wow, this is cool. I feel like I'm actually playing, you know, a Nintendo-made level. There, see? Easy. How the heck was that an expert? I don't know. Why would anybody skip that? Yeah, like star. Like, huh, that was good. Good job. Good job, person. Now what is this one? Oh dear. I know what this one is. I'm just gonna be quiet and let you watch this. Do you see what kind of shit I have to put up with? Golly. I think this was the hardest level I have ever played. This is it. This is the toughest level I have played in Super Mario Maker. My gosh, this eats up so many lives. You'll see. Oh, you'll see. Oh, God. What tends to be the hardest levels I play are underwater levels like this, where there's enemies just swarming around you. With... In infinite spawning enemies. It's so difficult and so frustrating. I played another level similar to this the next time I played expert mode, and it killed me a lot too. And I said I was not gonna skip, and I held good to my word. I I will not skip. But these water level these types of water levels are the toughest challenges I have ever faced in this game. And I would say this right here is probably the toughest level I've played thus far. Just watch how many lives I go through. I mean, look how difficult this is. You have to keep this. You have to keep this helmet. But there's stuff coming from all all angles, all sides. You, my gosh, how are you supposed to do this? I mean, you have to get lucky. It's like, if you lose it, you're already dead. I'm already dead. There is no way I'm getting by here. I have no idea how this person cleared this stage himself. Man, I'm squeezing by best I can, like, ugh. But right here, no matter what you do, that lack of two is going to hit you. No matter what you do. You have to have that spike helmet. But good luck getting through. Oh, oh yeah, I did some heavy editing. Look how many lives were lost. Look at that. I'm down to, what, 35? This level has killed me like over 40 times. I mean, and it's just all the same. Like, ugh, I can't do it. Oh, gosh. Like, I just give up right here. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ooh. This stage was so hard. I really didn't think I was going to make it. I mean, hey, you guys try this level. See how you do. Golly. So ridiculous. Using the cloud doesn't really help, so I leave it behind. I tried using the cloud at one point, and I found it actually hindered me. I kill a Guma. I try to kill this guy up here because he can get in the way. Man, it's like ugh, there's no clear pattern or path because the enemies spawn at a bullet bill as an approximation to where you are, and you never know where you're going to be. I mean. This level was just so luck-based, and I, I can't live through here. There's there's no way. There is no way. It's just so difficult. But here I go. Still not giving up. <sighs> I have faced many challenges in Mario games. I have played every single mainstream Mario game there is. I have 100%ed every mainstream Mario game there is. 
I have never, ever faced a challenge like this. My gosh. I finally do it. I finally killed that Lakitu right. It's like, oh, I'm finally over here now. Now if I can just survive this. Like, this is the first time I even made it over here, I think. Uh, it's a little dicey. I can't... Like, okay, just take the hit. Go, 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 go. Ah! And I finally make it. 40 lives later. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and I think I commented, because... I don't think this guy expects anybody to clear his level. In fact, I'm almost convinced he had a hidden star somewhere to where he could finish it. <laughs> like, I comment just so I can prove and say, hey, I beat that level. It's not impossible. I did it. I am one of the few, the proud, the Marios. Oh, my heart's beating fast just thinking about this level. I, I have nightmares about this stage, too. Jeez. Like... And that was brutal! I mean, that is Kaizo Mario level brutal, too. Golly! I don't know what that means. Yep, I realized, oh, that's bad. <laughs> I do like Mario 3 theme levels, though. Mario 3 is my second favorite Mario game. Well, my second favorite 2D Mario game. With Super Mario World being the first. Uh, at first I'm like, okay, this, this isn't so bad. Kind of looks like a level Nintendo might make. Alright, seems fair. I mean, anything is better than that water level I just did. And if I can make it through that, I can make it through anything almost. Except for those two levels I did have to skip. Simply because it was impossible to get through them. Because one wasn't working right, the automation part wasn't working right. And the other, there had to have been a hidden star because it was impossible to get through the line of spikes. I mean, I'm aware of the door glitch where you can have invincibility, but I was not able to perform that there. The end of that stage, like I said, was a block tower with enemies stacked on it. Impossible to not get hit. And then, once you clear the enemies, a long spike maze, your invincibility frames would run out and you would die. So, I couldn't finish that one because I couldn't find the star. Oh well. If I, if I only have to skip two levels, then that's fine. I didn't skip any in this playthrough, though. Ooh, I got a shell. A spiny shell hat. It's fancy. I like this new gameplay element. It's really cool. I can finally teach the Womps a lesson. And that's fun. Over here, it's like, well, it looks like I need to fly, but if I hit the question block, I'll destroy it. So, yep. So, I don't hit it, I realize, okay, I gotta take damage. And there we go, because I was about to be stuck forever. Like, yeah, I get to fly. I get to fly. But I don't know what's over here, and it's like, oh, well, I found there's fire over here. Derp. Well, I'll just drink more of my Coke. This is fun, right? This was actually a good level. My only criticism is, you know, doing blind leaps of faith that I'm not a fan of, because I couldn't anticipate the fire, so I died the first time, and you know, it's trial and error, and then I get to retry it a second time. I had to start all the way from the beginning, though. It wouldn't be as annoying if there were checkpoints or save states. Well, I guess save states would be a little much, but I would hope Nintendo releases some kind of patch or DLC where you can set one save point per level. Your own personal choice of where you want to restart from. I'd like to do- I like that. That's just me, that's how I would do it. Oops. Sometimes the note blocks don't always cooperate. But this starts out kind of similar to the first Mario 3. 
And then drastically changes. <laughs> Urgh, I must forget about the flop. And back in here, I don't even remember it the first time or second time. Maybe it fell, but I didn't even notice. Whatever. I forgot. Oh, yeah. I say, I forgot what I was doing there. Again, I haven't watched this video since I recorded it, so I don't remember everything about these stages. So in that regard, my commentary is still kind of live. I mean, I'm not playing right now anymore, but my, the levels are kind of a surprise to me again because I don't remember anything. Let's see. Did I make it through here this time? I think I do, but I, yeah, I, ch I check up there to see if there's anything. Alright. Now I know there's fire. Fire's bad. Make that. Uh... Oh, I messed up there. That's what. That's a, oops. I should have jumped at the last second. <laughs> Not there. That was bad. I can't believe I'm down to 31 lives. I swear that one level took over 40 lives. I mean, I should have still... At this point, I should still have over 70 lives, but that's not the case after that one water level. Just, that just tore me up, man. That's like the most unfair level. <laughs> God, that was such a challenge. I never want to play that again. Get the hiccups now. There we go. Get a fancy helmet. Like, come on, note blocks, cooperate with me. I still, I still like doing that. It's like you're hitting him in the crotch or something. It's funny. I like the raccoon leaf. It's one of my favorite Mario power-ups. I guess the cape feather might be my favorite. Raccoon leaf, probably a close second. That and the Tanuki suit. I guess I like the Tanuki suit more than the raccoon leaf. Because with that one, you get turned to a statue. I hope there's, I hope there's DLC where you can get the uh, Tanuki suit, as well as the frog suit, and the, um, what was it called? The Hammer Brothers suit? Or the. I forgot what that suit was called now. I want to say it was the Hammer suit or something. I'd like to see that again. So I'm trying to think, how do I get around this swamp? This is my opportunity. Like, I was hoping I wouldn't need those donut blocks, and I didn't. Oh my gosh. Expert mode takes a while. I think. I don't remember what I commented here, but I commented something. I think easy mode took me less than 20 minutes. Normal mode took me around 30 minutes? And this is taking me over an hour. Hmm. I always get nervous when I read Japanese names. <laughs> I'm an expert. I see Japanese text, I'm like, oh god, I'm in trouble. They usually make the hardest levels that I've played. Crafty Japanese people. I just decide to leap over. Uh, ooh, okay, well that's that's friendly. Okay, I kind of remember the stage. This stage is kind of trolly because there's a uh, there's some hidden blocks you need to hit. It takes me a while to find them. So I remember. Again, I don't like levels like this where if you create the level, you know how to beat it. You know where everything is. You know where you put everything. Someone going in here blind, you know what? I don't know. It's like, what's, what do I need? I can't pass this part now. I have to kill myself. Anyway, that's that's not good level design. That's just annoying. It's not challenging. It's just frustrating. I'm like, oh gosh. It's one of these levels, isn't it? Uh, uh. Like, no hidden block. Nothing. Nope. Not a, nothing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, had a similar problem with one of those levels I had to skip. 
It's like, there is no getting around this whatsoever. It's not a matter of skill, it's just not possible to pass without a star. <laughs> and here it's not possible to pass without a, a different item that you need. So I'm like, eh, I don't know why I hit that again. It's like, anything, anything, nothing, 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 nothing! You getting it? I try up here again, it's like, well, maybe there's a hidden block I overlooked up here. Maybe there's something I need here. I didn't hit these. Well, I don't know. If I can't get up there. I tried. No, I can't get up there. I'm like, oh. Um, still unsure. I'm like, well, I don't know. It's racking my brain. I'm like, really? Maybe there's something I missed here. There's gotta be something. Gotta be a spring or something. But wouldn't you know it? There's nothing. I can already say there's no hidden block around here. I desperately search. I'm desperate. Desperate. But, alas, there's nothing. Just all hope and despair. All hope is lost. Just nothing but despair. Like, God, how annoying. <laughs> how obnoxious. So much for that. But I'm determined not to skip this playthrough that I'm recording. Well, gotta be something. Oh, goodness. At this point, I'm super annoyed. Let my legs go to sleep again. Let me readjust. Oh, let me lay on my belly. I think the mic can still hear me. And I realize there's nothing in there, and I can't ground pound here. <laughs> So what am I to do? Like, maybe I'll find a propeller suit or something, but nope, nope, nothing, really? Okay, that's the way you want to play a game. <sighs> I can see about 99% of people skipping this stage. <laughs> like anything? Anything at all? Anything! Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, thank goodness for that. I finally found it. And then you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's a spike shell. I'm like, oh, 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 really? Really? I can't. Again, this was before I knew you could push down and pick it up. Or, or I should say, put it on your head. And I'm like, damn it. Fudge! I'm cursing this Japanese person's name right now. If I only knew how to pronounce it. What? I can get through here. Of course, I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Not... Why am I going up there again? I don't remember why I did this. At a dirt moment, I'm like, what am I doing? These levels will drain your brain. They'll drain you mentally. Like I find that, and I'm like, screw it, I'm using a power suit. I'm just gonna fly through the first of the level, if I have to. Oh, and then it's the end, though. Like, really? Really? <laughs> That's good level design. Ugh. Some people will get me so mad. <laughs> Ugh, we're getting closer. We're almost there. Not too much longer. Oh, damn it, Japanese. <laughs> That's bad. Right, well, 
Probably gonna die again. And those Koopa Troopas got low. So if they have wings, I think they're paratroopas. Ding, 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 ding. Like, stay in the air. Stay in the air. That was close. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm hitting every one of them. Kind of tediously. And I think I realized, oh, screw it. That's not a good idea. And there's Ian. Thank goodness. Wonderful level design. Whatever. Some for some people that's all they make. Sometimes a lot less. And it's like, why did you upload this? There is nothing to this level. What what? Are you proud of that level? Okay. You find a lot of Japanese names in expert mode. <laughs> oh goodness. Goodness me, but I do like the wall jumping challenges. One thing I like about the new Super Mario Bros. U style is the wall jumping. Create some pretty good platforming tricks here. I want to say you can be the most creative probably in your level design with new Super Mario Bros. U because of wall jumping, spin jumping, and ground pounding. Like, I'm not sure how I died there, but I did. I'll just read you. Like, wall jumping shouldn't be a problem now. After what I've been through, I should be able to do anything. Nothing should be a challenge anymore. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like, oh, get out of here. Like, there. I did it. Good. Like that. Grand. I'm so close. Took me a lot of toys. Well, I started because it was kind of fun. And I have one dumb death. It's like, whoops, that was on me. That wasn't you, that was actually me. That was my derp. Dante Seventh. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Of course, at this point, I'm like, bring it on, I can handle anything. As long as I'm not underwater, I can take it. I'm assessing my situation here. Well, okay, that's doable. I can do it. I've been through worse. You think this is gonna trip me up? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I've already been to hell, buddy. It was more like Dante's eighth. That Koopa found hell. Ugh. That water level was hell. This is nothing. Go away. Now, I don't think I can wall jump off the buzz cuts there, or the saws. Alright. And I determine... Well, this is going to be kind of tricky because I'm on ice platforms. So I got a small window of opportunity to go through there and Bowser Jr. is suicidal. I squeeze in there somehow. And I realize, well, I gotta wait for a window. That was my chance. I did it. It's Bowser. Ugh, squeeze. And I did it. Nothing's too hard now, folks. <laughs> I've already been to hell. Yay, I did it. And that's expert mode, folks. Wow. And that was a fun level, so I started. Peach, you better be happy about this. My gosh. Mario, it can't have been easy to make it here. You truly are my hero. You damn right I'm your hero. You have no idea the things I've had to do to get through here. Golly. Again, that's expert mode. You never know what you're gonna get. You can get nice, cool, really challenging levels that test your limits, or you can get really super dumb trolley levels that are just life gobblers, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ugh. But about half of these levels were fun. The other half, it's like, ugh, how annoying. <laughs> I get Diddy Kong. Alright, well that does it for the 100 Mario Challenges. I finally got around to uploading them all. So next time I'll do... I guess I'll play more friend stages or something. I don't know. We'll see. See you later, folks.